Right, here's what I call my Rogers Rangers uh, repair kit, sewing kit. Now it's a little big, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. It's one pound. It's in a Maxpedition pouch and uh, you know it's more than just minimal sewing. Wouldn't want to take this on an AT2 hike. It weighs one pound. I think I said that. Uh, but there's a lot of gear in here. This is also just kind of a place where I put gear that seems to get misplaced in my kit no matter where I have it. So let me just go through the contents quick. Uh, I got three zip ties here. Got some 24 gauge craft wire which can be used for snares or for uh, just repairing gear, heavy duty gear repair. Got some beeswax and a little paint container. Got one of these uh, ultra fine tip sharpie markers and this is, would be more for drawing on leather and stuff like that. Have a piece of uh, aluminum flashing in here. Uh, you'd be surprised all the things you can make out of that. Heat shields and you know, place to put your esbit tabs, uh, wind brakes. Uh, got my Singer sewing kit with some upholstery leather, a thimble, and a bunch of different upholstery and heavy duty needles. So that's all in there. Uh, I think that's it for this. I did cut off the corners of this aluminum flashing so that it wouldn't, uh, you know, rip the fabric because that aluminum flashing is sharp stuff. So I just nipped off the corners. So that's all that on that side. I just put this together, so I don't say I got it all set as far as the most compact. All right, well, I'll get those in there later. So that's beeswax. Got a little exacto uh, knife, Stanley knife here. Got a pair of, these are called uh, Pro Tick Remedy. So these are tick tweezers with small magnifying glass. Uh, this works really great. Instead of popping it off, I kind of put it in there and twist it counterclockwise and the tick comes right off. Again, that's just something that gets misplaced. It seems like no matter where I put it, I could put it in my first aid kit. I uh, got a Leatherman juice here, so that is for as the uh, pliers and the scissors in there, small knife, screwdriver. That's the probably the heaviest thing in this kit. Have a uh, piece of latigo lace or rawhide lace. Got a little piece of uh, coat hanger there. Those Leatherman juice will cut that. This is great for making little hanging hooks and stuff. I find that I, I use a piece of coat hanger for all kinds of stuff. Over on this side, I have some uh, leather material, some nylon green canvas type material, a small little six inch ruler. So that's all on that side underneath there. Uh, some safety pins are buried under there. So that's that side. Back over here is a uh, leather awl or leather punch so I can go through leather or bark and a couple of uh, leather needles. Got a little uh, cork there to keep it all set. Here is some um, bunch of probably 30 feet of uh, waxed thread, which can be split apart. Three nails, a pair of these little scissors I got from Wooden Hawk. Now these are forged steel scissors, not wooden scissors. They're hand forged steel scissors. And the great thing about these is they actually have little bevel edges and you can resharpen these with a little piece of sandpaper. I do keep a piece of sandpaper in my PSK, so that's that's not a problem. Uh, I have a small piece of mill file here and a small whetstone. Now, typically, I don't like using a whetstone on my knives. I've got them to the point where they can be sharpened with a, a leather strop, but uh, these are two good things to have if you get a nick and an axe. Uh, got a bone awl here, so this I don't punch through the leather. This I use to make the holes in the leather bigger. So I use it as a, what's called a stitching fit. And then this may seem silly, but here's a five feet uh, upholstery sewer's uh, rule. So, you know, if you're laying out fabric or, or whatever. So this is my whole repair kit and uh, tool kit of things that are miscellaneous. Thanks for watching.